Hello, this is Thomas Südpacker speaking. After our temp tracker sample, we will now focus how to upload IoT information from uh, an application. Here we use the IoT Starter app, which utilizes the MQTT to get information from uh, the mobile device about the position and send these data to the IoT cloud. I customized the sample with fake information to send temperature data. This is the reason why it is still possible to use the sensor to upload information into the IoT cloud and also to use the simulator. The main focus is on the IoT starter app. Inside Plumix you can consume the information from the Internet of Things Foundation. We also can directly define a service which provides us a concrete area where we can define which kind of devices can access to the IoT Foundation and be sure that these devices are available for us in our application. How does it look like inside Node-RED? Inside Node-RED we have these different IoT inputs. The first input is our IoT starter input. The IoT starter input, as I said, is the Bluemix service we use from the Internet of Things Foundation. To define our own devices based on device ID and device type. We also define our own access. Uh, the difference to the IoT starter or quick start is that um, every device can access this quick start and this is open. So we still use these with our uh, sensor tech sample and the simulator. Now we take a look at the mobile app, the iOS app, to send data to our IoT cloud. Um, the sample is based on the IoT starter for iOS. You can also use by yourself and it's available in GitHub. I changed a little bit uh, the code so that this data is pre-filled automatically so that I do not have to insert it by myself. And I create some own data to send uh, to my own IoT cloud and I use the same data structure as I use um, in the temperature sample, temp tracker sample, so to be more correct. And um, here is the IoT cloud and when I activate the sensor it connects to the IoT cloud and gets from the sensor uh, the position of the phone. Here in our sample, uh, this is the emulator, it has only one position. The um, position is sent to the IoT cloud and is connected as you can see here. Um, the definition of the device ID and device type is done by um, myself and also the authentication. So you can define your own device types and uh, define which device, concrete device, will access your cloud. Now take a look what happens here. You can observe the data directly in our, our cloud. And here, this is the data which is sent by the app. This data is not useful for the temp tracker sample. So I send uh, my fake data. You can see this is the code I do that. And uh, I define my own temperature data and will send it with the JSON data structure to uh, the IoT cloud. And that's the reason why I call it a fake here. Yeah? And um, now you can see this is the test. And yeah, the sample fake information. So, um, that's basically all for uh, the um, iOS app. And now we have this information inside <coughs> our IoT. 
the IoT provides the data and we can consume the data as in a temperature sample and temp tracker sample. Now take a look, closer look to the node red part um, and focus on the input of the IoT. We have uh, three different IoT ports. The first is uh, the concrete Bluemix service we have from the IoT foundation and we can define the input type so we every device event. We allow every device as an input and every device ID. So we will consume every information uh, which is provided by our own defined IoT cloud and we will use it inside our Node-RED application. In our Node-RED application we will utilize the information which is provided by the different um, inputs from the IoT and uh, the concrete flow of event and the different possibilities here in uh, this Node-RED application will be a topic for the next videos and this was the first step, the introduction, how to get the data. I hope the information was useful for you and thanks for watching.